Hi, welcome to another short circuit tutorial. Today I want to show you how to use the two buttons on your Pick Explorer 18. That would be this button located in RB0 and the other one RA5. So let's go ahead and take a look at how the program is going to look. So like always we include our files that we're going to be using configurations the main function so the first thing we need to do is since the lights we're gonna be using the lights to see what the result is going to be so the lights are located in port D so we want that as output and we want port B and A as input since that's where the buttons are now the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna set port D equal to this value here so we're gonna turn the rightmost light on at first and then using the buttons we're going to move that light around this line enables the IO functions at port D that's where the lights are this next line enables the input the digital input at port A because that's where this button is located, RE5. RB0 is this one, so we don't have to worry about that one. But for port A, we do. So you can do two things. You can use this line or this line. And you might be wondering where I got this code from. If you go to the data sheet for port A, it will tell you in the example code that you need to set atcon1 to 0f but we're using binary so I'm using this value but you can use hexadecimal if you want that would be 0xf 0x0f I'm sorry so inside our inside so inside our while loop let's take care of uh, the rb0 So that's this button. So when people press that, that's when uh, RB0 is equal to 0. We're, one, we're going to wait a couple of uh, milliseconds and then we're going to check uh, if, if the lights in port B, if the light in port B is already all the way to the left, then we want, we want it to stay there. Otherwise, we're going to move that light to the left. The same thing goes for uh, port uh, RA5. If port RA5 is pressed, we wait a couple of milliseconds. If the light is all the way to the right, we're gonna we're not gonna move it. Otherwise, we're going to move it to the right. Now, if you never if you never use bitwise operators, which would be this less than two less than signs or two greater than signs for shifting to the left and right respectively, all that is doing is uh, moving this one either to the left or to the right. And as you know, wherever we have a one in port D, that light is going to be turned on. So go ahead and try this program and see what you get. So what you should get is that if you uh, press the uh, left one, it moves to the left. Every time you press it, press the one on the right and uh, it should move to the right. And if you hold it, the light also moves. Thank you for watching. For more electrical engineering videos and tutorials, visit our website.